So we're here on the shores of Lake Barkley today and we're engaged in a fish habitat project. Specifically, we're trying to improve the shoreline fish spawning habitat. This project is actually a big partnership between multiple agencies. So our agency, TWRA down in Tennessee, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the U.S. Forest Service, as well as a lot of local angler groups. It's all part of a big grant which was uh, awarded from a federal fund called the National Reservoir Fisheries Habitat Partnership. So they provide funding for basically improving fisheries habitat in reservoirs across the country. And in this case, Lake Barkley was chosen as the top project, so they were able to fund all the material purchases for this project. So what we're doing today is we're adding what we're calling laydowns. So we're taking trees, cutting them from the land between the lakes, National Forest Service area. And then we're placing those along the shoreline at a lower water elevation so they'll be available to fish earlier in the springtime as TVA and the Corps of Engineers bring the lake up to summer pool. Okay. The main goal for this project is to improve the bass spawns at Lake Barkley. That's where we've been struggling the most in recent years. So that's where the habitat is really kind of designed for, but it'll also be used by any species within that same family, the centrarchid family. That includes a lot of our sport fish, bluegill, red ear, crappie, all of them are gonna be using this habitat for spawning. So far this morning, we've done about 15 laydowns on the opposite bank over here. Now we switch banks, ready to work our way down every 30 to 40 feet, placing one of these laydowns. Now this tree is a hickory. I chose it because it's a hardwood. It's gonna last a lot longer. It doesn't have very many branches on it. Bass like simple cover. They don't like too many branches. We get a lot of questions about whether an individual angler is allowed to place habitat or fish structure into Kentucky Lake or Lake Barkley. And in our case, we're allowed to do this work because we have special permits from U.S. Army Corps of Engineers as well as the U.S. Forest Service, which allow us to cut these trees and to place them in the water at specific locations. One of the things that we're doing to evaluate the success of this kind of habitat is we're doing weekly snorkel surveys on a subsection of these sites during the springtime. We've done that over the past two years to see whether fish are actually using this habitat to spawn. And encouragingly, about 50% of these sites at our testing zone have been used by bass to spawn in a particular year. Nearly 100% of these sites will be used by sunfish to spawn. So it's tough to say whether we'll see an actual improvement in the catch rates of anglers over time, but it is a new project that we are trying to improve those catch rates with.